What is up, you guys? It is a wonderful, beautiful day out. Pray for my neighbor, you guys, for healing and recovery. The guy that lives across the street from me, named Willie, his wife passed away. So, um, yeah, so make sure you pray for him to recover. Um, anyways, um, so, as you can see in the title of this video, or the title in this video of this video is similar to what this title is going to be that I'm going to say in a second. Um, you know, because when I, whenever I say in my video, the title, as you can see in the title of this video, it's not always that title of the video, so I'm going to say something similar. Um, when God says no... When God answers your prayers with no or wait. So. Here comes the yawns. Never fails to amuse me how the yawns make perfect timing to come along when I make a video. Um. <laughs> so, when God says no, zero calorie Gatorade, when God says no or wait, you know, if you desperately need a prayer answered, if you desperately pray to God needing something so desperately, and he says, no or wait. You get upset because your prayer hasn't been answered yet. Or your prayer gets answered later on in life. But, like, maybe years later. Or it's just a flat, uh, a flat on no. Ah. Uh, you get frustrated. But let me tell you. I am here to simply tell you to not be frustrated when God says wait or no. Why is that exactly? Well, it's simple. When God says no, it means that he has something way, 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 way better in store for you than what you prayed for, than what you originally prayed for. When he says, wait, and you're waiting a couple years, he's trying to have you grow in faith that he will keep or that he will fulfill what you prayed for. Sometimes he will want you to pray more than once, like probably like a couple hundred times or something like that. God loves it when we bug him with prayers. He loves it when we annoy him with prayers. Why exactly? Well, when we ask God something over and over and over, he sees our disparity, a disparity of uh, our, our desperateness um, for the thing that we prayed for. And also, he know he sees our heart is more even more humble and sincere when we pray for something to him over and over and over and over again, and because he just loves us talking to him, God loves it when his children talk to him. He loves it. He smiles. He loves when we talk to him. So his him being annoyed. And bugged by things that we're that things that we pray to him with his bug his him being bugged and, and him being annoyed is different than how we get bugged and annoyed. When we humans get bugged and annoyed by something, we want it to stop to stop the annoyance um, or the and being bugged. Well, God, on the other hand. He loves, he loves it. 
He loves it a lot. So, I'm simply here to tell you, when God tells you no or wait, <clears throat> don't think <clears throat> don't think that you cannot count on God to not answer your prayer if he says no or wait. If he says no, of course he's not going to answer the prayer, but again, don't think don't think of it like this like Oh, I can't count on God to not answer my prayers anymore. No. No. Don't count on God to answer the prayers that y that don't align with his will. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is good. That is a deep one. When God says when God says no, don't count on him. Don't count <clears throat> don't count on him to don't say I can't count on you God to not answer my prayers anymore. No. He won't answer the prayers for you if they don't align up with his will. Like, for example, I'm going to just, you know, it's going to be majorly sarcastic or something, or give a really exaggerated example right now. Um, a person that you want to see dead, you pray to God for him to kill that person. What exactly do you think is going to happen? Obviously, he's not going to answer that prayer, right? He is not going to... He would be going against his own commandments. Thou not, thou shalt not kill. He would murder somebody to answer your prayer. No, he's not going to do that because it doesn't line up with his will. Um. Yeah. So when he says no or wait, don't count. Don't think for one second that you can't count on him to not answer your prayers anymore. Again, when he says wait, it's because he wants to grow you in strength, grow you in faith. When he grows us in faith, we get even stronger. And again, he wants you to pray it, pray it a million times because he just loves hearing your voice. God loves to hear our voices. He loves to hear his children talk to him. He loves it. He loves being the only one that we can rely on. You know, a lot of people, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be lying to you guys 100%. You know me when I say this a lot, that I say, that I will say, uh, if I say that I have barely relied on God in my life to help me through my issues, my trials, and not uh, prescription medication overdoses, alcohol, no, uh-uh, no, I would be lying to you guys if I said that. So, uh, truthfully, honestly, I'm working on it, but I'm going to be truthful with you guys. I've barely had God and, uh, help me through my trials. I've always used drugs and alcohol to take it all away. And it still didn't go away, so that's the, that's the issue. Um, but God loves it when he's the only one that you can rely on to help you through your problems. You, if you don't rely on drugs and alcohol, that's good. God, uh, I was about to say he laughs. No, God smiles at that. It glorifies God. It praises God when he is the only one that you can count on to help you through your problems. If you don't know what to pray in your life, if you don't know what to pray for, just thank God for everything he's done for you in your life. Just thank him. Just talk to him throughout your day of doing things. Doing activities, work, driving to work, anything. Just pray to God. Just talk to him. Like, God, thank you so much, Father, for everything you've ever done for me. Thank you, God. I hope I hope the rapture is going to happen soon so we can meet face to face in person, Father God in heaven. Please, God, I pray for my family, God. Or just talk to him like, God... I'm having a good day, God. I hope you're having a good day in heaven, too. God, what's your favorite food? God, what's your... What's God, what's your favorite star that you created in the universe? Galaxy, nebula. It's just like that. God loves it when we talk to him. He loves it. And don't think for one second... Okay, this is utterly absurd what I'm about to tell you. Don't think for even one second that if you talk to God, 
that he you that you think that he that you're the only one that he can hear at that time. No, God can hear every single person in the entire world. And if there's even more people on other planets or distant galaxies in the universe, he can hear every single person at the exact same time. He can hear all of our prayers, every thought we think, every single word we utter out of 8 billion people in the world and then probably countless other people in distant galaxies, uh, if there is such thing. Um, that will be a separate video, by the way. Along with knowing how many hairs are on our head uh, that fall onto the ground, how many raindrops out of millions of raindrops that come down on uh, from the sky onto the ground in ev all parts of the world, wherever it's raining at. Um, <clears throat> he's in control of the waves of the ocean from not colliding onto land. He has the earth moving, um, spinning around all the time just perfectly. He has all the stars, all the comets and asteroids in the entire universe um, just... At a safe distance at all times from Earth. Um, and so much more. And we should be scared of God. We should be terrified of Him. But we're not. Because of how loving He is. Perfect love casts out all fear. Am I right? Amen. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope this, this video brings you comfort in your life and in your day. God bless you.